don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here. As you guys know, about a month ago, Nvidia launched the big GTX 1060. Only came in a 6 gigabyte variant. Uh, launched at 250 US dollars for like ref not reference for like um AIB boards or AIB cards and 299 for the stupid fanboy edition. The fuck not fanboy edition. Sorry, founders edition. Like I actually accidentally said fanboy edition there. So I've heard that so many times. But like, yeah, the 1060 6 gigabyte version launched, and of course. Uh, at that time, in that launch video that I made about the 1060, I also talked about the 3 gigabyte version and how it was apparently I'm um, going to have less cooler cores, um, but it was going to launch in the form of the GTX 1050. Wrong! Apparently I was dead wrong, because according to PC Perspective and my boys at Video Cards, no, the 3 gigabyte 1060 is launching and it is still going to have 1,152 cooler cores, which is 128 less than a 6 gigabyte 1060. Now, this is a very, very interesting decision by NVIDIA. Like, I was kind of hoping that this was maybe just like an OEM thing, where only OEMs got the 3 gigabyte 1060. So, like, that's kind of the area where this is a little bit acceptable. But, like, apparently, like, I've seen links. Like, there's a link in this forum uh, to a GTX 1060 3 gigabyte version uh, in China. And it has 1,152 cooler cores, which is less than the 1,280 cooler cores of the 6 gigabyte version. Now, this is a little disappointing. Like, this is kind of weird from NVIDIA. I mean, it's a 1060 still. Like, if they went and called this card the 1050 Ti, then it's a little more acceptable. Or if they called the 6 gigabyte 1060 the 1060 Ti and called this the 1060, then it'd be a little more acceptable. But, like, this is just kind of weird. Like... It's not really a 1060 because it doesn't have the same amount of cooler cores. VRAM is not the only thing differentiating the card from its 6 gigabyte brother. Like, it's kind of disappointing to see, but like, I don't know. Uh, the card is supposedly still going to have the same 120 watt TDP, supposed to still have the 6 pin power connector. I assume it'd be priced at what, like 200 US dollars to compete with the 4 gigabyte RX 480. I don't really know how it's going to perform against that, considering the RX 480 4 gigabyte performs pretty closely to its 8 gigabyte brother. Like, it kind of depends on the game, the resolution you're playing at. So, of course, some um, VRAM limitations will come in um, at different points. But, like, if this is a 3 gigabyte card, less CUDA cores performing against a 4 gigabyte RX 480, when the RX 480 already performs reasonably close within a GTX 1060 um, and beats that at some points, then, like, pff, I don't know what NVIDIA is going for here. Like, it's a very interesting decision. I really want to see how this card actually performs with less CUDA cores. It's still, of course, going to have that 1.7 gigahertz boost clock. Um, as you guys know, Pascal is, like, very, very intense on um, the overclocking or on the boost clocking, at least. But, like, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. Like, NVIDIA has kind of done this type of thing with, like, the GT730 cards like that. Like, the low end that no one really cares about. Where you've got, like, a Fermi... Um, GTX 730, a Kepler GT, uh, GT 730, like a Maxwell one, like you got like three versions of the exact same card, one has DDR3, the other one has GDDR5, like it's, it's like a complete mess down there in the lower end, but to see something like this in the mid to high end, or the mid end, it's a little weird, and it's a little strange, and I really hope it's not true, like I'm still praying that this might be like the whole OEM thing, but like if we really see a 3 gigabyte 1060 that uh, has less CUDA cores than the 6 gigabyte brother, then, uh, I don't know. I don't know how NVIDIA's gonna pull this off. Like, NVIDIA's smart with marketing, so, like, they'll still be able to convince people, yeah, no, just buy me, buy me. This is a good card, buy me, buy me. But, like, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And also, the fact that this is 3 gigabytes, like, 3 gig, uh, three gigabytes 1060 versus a 4 gigabyte 480, and, like, if they're the same price, and if they will be, I assume they will be. Um, I don't really know how this is going to go down. I mean, they could price this competitively. They could put this up against the GTX, uh, sorry, not the GTX, the RX 470. I like that $180 price point. But, like, will this be able to outperform a 470? Or will NVIDIA want to price this card that low? Uh, considering that the fanboy, sorry, not the fanboy, the founder's edition of the 6 gigabytes and 660 is 299 and like the AIB uh, board start from 249 or 250 or whatever. 
then up. Uh, I don't know. So look, guys, we're just going to have to wait and see. See what happens. Hopefully this isn't true, but it's coming from PC perspective, and there's like a clear like photo of it, and there's also a link to a 3 gigabyte. Uh, 1060 with 1,152 cuticles. So like it's looking like it's true. I hope it's not, but it probably is. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you think down below about this. It's kind of controversial, or kind of not. It kind of depends on how you look at this. I think it's a little bit weird, but that's just my opinion. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In the big K, we'll see you later.